Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below hashtag 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 Java Unirist tutorial. Unirist is a lightweight HTTP client library for Java that simplifies the process of making HTTP requests and handling responses. It's easy to use and integrates well with any Java project. In this tutorial, we will go through the basics of using Unirist to perform HTTP GET, POST, PUT, and DELETE requests. Hashtag 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 getting started. One add dependency, to use Unirist in your Java project, you need to include the Unirist library. If you are using Maven, you can add the following dependency to your pom.xml file. For Gradle, include it in your build.gradle. To import Unirist, in your Java file, import the necessary classes. Hashtag 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 making HTTP requests. Hashtag 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 one. Get request. A get request is used to fetch data from a specified resource. Hashtag 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 two. Post request. A post request is used to send data to a server to create slash update a resource. Hashtag 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 three. Put request. A put request is used to update an existing resource. Hashtag 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 four. Delete request. A delete request is used to delete a specified resource. Hashtag 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 handling exceptions. It's important to handle exceptions when making HTTP requests. You can catch exceptions like unirist exception. Hashtag 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 configuration. You can configure the unirist client with timeouts, proxy settings, and more. Hashtag 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 final notes. One cleanup, always call unirist.shutdown, when you are done using the unirist client, particularly in applications that run for a long time. Two async requests. Unirist also supports asynchronous requests if needed. 3. JSON support Unirist handles JSON responses natively, so you can easily work with JSON data. By following this tutorial, you should now have a good understanding of how to use Unirist in Java to make various HTTP requests. You can extend this basic usage to handle more complex scenarios based on your application's needs.